okay and then we also have floor load so floor load okay this you need to specify some value and you need to specify the ranges okay so floor load and everything we can see in a separate uh, uh, session see here we also have one way distribution now uh, here you we can select one way distribution or two way distribution also see otherwise we can just make use of the same uh, same members okay i will just try to put uh, minus 3 kilo newton add but you need to see the value na so for seeing the value you can just uh, x y z na you can put double click here you can able to see the value x y z okay for example i will uh, select this minimum 640 you need to put here the same so 460 okay you can put four uh, this is minimum 460 Zero, and at the same time, this one, four eight five, four eight, and then five. Okay, now it is like a two-way distribution because we are not selecting it. Click add. Okay, can you able to see automatically coming the floor load in two-way distribution? In plan, we can able to see how it looks like. This is two-way distribution. If you are changing that to a one-way distribution, longer direction it will change. See, this is one-way distribution. This is what the difference. In floor load, we can go for two-way and also one-way loads. Okay, this is you need to be uh, uh, carefully. You need to do this value. This is a little bit confusing well in the beginning, but later you will find your own strategy. Okay, now I am using this method. This method is very simple. Okay, you can use any of the methods to find the value. It's why is there? Got it? Yeah. 